private jets, designer children's clothes, lavish parties, nannies and butlers. Welcome to Ingress Abbey in our present day and age. There it stands proudly on the eastern outskirts of London in the county of Kent, the Abbey, a large country house now owned by Lord and Lady Hales, Sam and Irene, and valued at about £4.5 million. Today, on the occasion of the season's premiere of Kinaka Special, Irene Major, a.k.a. the Queen of Ingress, will offer us a tour of her castle. <laughs> Kinaka TV, Irene Major here. Please welcome to my little castle. As you know, this is where we all gather. Okay, it's not about the house, it's about me. Let me show you around. Oh, I don't need a gym. All I need is actually run through the stairs in this house. How many bedrooms have we got? I don't know. So this is, it might be one of those shoots when you have, and then you just have a look downstairs. I quite like this. It's actually not bad. And you can see. Let's go to the red room. Red room, here we come. I mean, this is where the family gather. If you're looking for the children, they'll be here. I mean, the younger one is here somewhere. So. Oh there. I can hear my baby crying. Come on, this is all the red room. We all gather, of course, we have all these meals. And I've got a baby here in the kitchen. Colleen? Mm -hmm. This is Colleen. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't do anything without the cousin. That's the nanny, the big nanny. Hello, Momo. Say hello. Oh my gosh. You wanted to see the baby? There's a baby here. She walks now, she's all grown up, so life is better. I can do anything, African food, anything you like. But I'm not going to cook today because it's not me. Honey? Yes? Can I give you what I just found it? I have my dress to show you. Should I get changed? Can I have? What do you think? You go to Nani? Uh -huh. I'll come back. Uh -huh. Nani, you go to Nani. Nani, you go to Nani. I'll come back. I'll come back. I mean, every queen would need an office, right? I still have my little office and as you can see coming the children can still play they do have their horse and this is one of the most private part of the house actually I sit here I don't need computer by the way it's very easy because all I do I just read about fashion or my lap I don't do laptops I do things like iPad or my phone and that's enough it's very therapeutic me and the crosses as you know I got one big one by the window there's a mixture so I mix fashion and spiritual Anything. You know, David the Camo, he, he passed away about, you know, over eight years ago. You know, they never die. So he's still around. He's in this room somehow. So this tattoo actually is related to dad. So I miss him dearly. Daddy, daddy, we love you. <laughs> he knows, okay? Come on, guys. I'll show you my bedroom with all the fashion. What? Just what a girl want. It's never too much, though. Guy. Welcome, Kinaka. Into what I call my bedroom. My children actually called, said to me, Mommy, this is a flat. So it's all, I mean, you probably don't expect it from me. You expect something more kind of grander. I mean, I love my. I made a little display for you, actually, Kinaka TV. This is a little MS thing, and just to show you how crazy I can be and go because I love black. Everything has to be black. But there are, there is a difference though. You're going to tell me everything is black, but this is gold, by the way. And the reason I have that one is simply because it's silver. Yeah, because you got to match with your boots. I mean, I've got MX boots in the silver, so you need a silver lining. What about that? Anyway, so as you know, this is another, you remember my office uh, wall? This is crocodile. My love for MS just doesn't, I mean, a collection now as well. So, another queen of ingress with a hat, so I'm very much into my hat. So, so much it gets sent to me. And the other one I just made for me. I mean, this is one thing I was gonna wear. This is, again, a poem. It's like a love letter thing. I need to wear something right now. Don't 
don't tell me I can't dress up. Somebody has to wear something. Queen of England needs to dress up. So they call this the forget me not. It's quite heartbroken, but I can bring some fun to it, right? What do you think? Hmm? I love it. I wear it. And then you know me with my gloves. There's no queen without gloves. So I do wear gloves a lot. You know me, you know I collect them. And Cornelia James just send them to me all the time. So I love my gloves. I actually love, love gloves. I'm not wearing some right now. Anyway, this is another of my collection, my craziness. Don't ask me why, what I collect and what I don't, because I think I collect everything. And that's from a very good fan. She literally did a whole book of me. Do you know, this is randomly through pictures of me on Instagram. You see how crazy of an outfit I would wear. And gloves, of course, and that's the hat here. Again, very British. Do you know, I love to keep it simple. Don't you think? It's not simple for you? It is for me. Come on, life is so simple. You, somebody got to live. I'm only living my life, guys. Let me live it. Anyway, so this is my wardrobes. I'm very much into jewelry. This is a special Chanel bag. I have some Chanel stuff up there. And when I dress up, I have to sparkle. It has to shine, always. I mean, that's another kind of a money. I mean, people who know fashion will understand. You need more. You need a nostal, again, python, crocodile, gloves, more gloves, more fashion. <laughs> Leopard. And then I don't know if you notice my floor. This is too much the to floor, by the way. You think so? There's your brother. Brother came back, little zebra. Oh, by the way, these are Chanel. They're my pretty woman boots. They're my pretty woman boots. And I have to show you, this is my other wardrobe, by the way. It's actually one of my favorite. I collect Jitroa. They're like leather fanatic. This is where I can keep, you know, vintage and anything new. It's heaven here. I know you can't see heaven in it, but for me, this is heaven. Because I will have things. I mean, I can't even close the door, as you can see because things are just like so much into it. Husband wardrobe is so small, but I've already taken it over like crazy. So this is my small bed. And again, I collect stuff very much into vintage and some glasses, gloves, and what do I collect? I collect children, I collect big houses, I collect fashion. What do I collect, Kinaka? You tell me, because I'm lost. There we go. A bit of blue just to keep it with the weather. You want a bit of color. And I think I'll change into this later. It's only a village. I want to feel a bit. Don't tell Kinaka that. It's just for me. Come on, fashion, fashion. Careful with the little zebra on the floor. you know what I mean you can't have a wardrobe with no leopard I mean I've got shoes I've got things in leopard and this is the secret is upstairs so this is a girly room you know my sister you she always been friends over and this is the room where she it's a little dorm you know for being a boarder so people go on about how to buy her sister year old cars and stuff at the margin but come on guys she didn't want to party you don't want to party, mommy actually treats you even better. So there we go, they spend time, they play, they dress up, and I mean down there everything is pink. It's quite, I mean it's not used as much, but when it's used, it's fully used. That's what I like about the house. The baby's crying. Hey. They cry. I mean, she's used to pony, but somehow, sometimes she's like in between. It's okay. We treat her the same way. Come on. Let me show you my favorite room in the house, actually. Say hello, Kiki. <laughs> Come on, follow me, guys. 
I show you one of my favorite rooms of the house. You know why I call it my favorite room of the house? Because everything is gold. That's why the queen needs her gold. I mean, chairs need to be gold. Mirror gold. Baby gold. Are you gold? Are you gold, Baba? She loves my hat, actually. Well, let me show you around. I mean, this is just, I call it the mini Versailles. Not because it's Versailles, but because when you think of Versailles, you have gold around. You have a lot going on. And I think this is more like it. It's very palatial. It's very, I mean, the queen lives in gold, doesn't she? Yeah? Momo, do you want to play? Do you want to play? Come on, you can drive your car. She have to change. Yay! Even the car has to be white and gold, isn't it? There we go! She can drive her own car. Do you want to show how you drive music? <laughs> wow! Busy baby! That's how you keep them busy, don't you? Come on, Kiki. Let's finish our interview. Kinaka, you've seen my house. What else do you need from me? Well, now I know people wonder how did I just land into a castle. I mean, come on guys, don't you think you just, the dream just falls on the, on the plate. I mean, you've got to keep dreaming. I mean, when I tell you stories about how we met, my husband was this, um, we met nearly uh, 20 years ago. My husband was this kind of the dreamer, the guy who had a dream and I had my dreams too. So it's, uh, he was an engineer, you know, working down in Africa and um, through a sister we got, you know, it was like a match made in heaven in a way, but my sister kind of played the, um, she'd made a little bit of introduction there. He was in his 30s, you know, I was, you know, quite young, but we kind of built things together. Like, uh, I mean, I just didn't move from Africa to this, you know, that's the thing people go on about from this to this and they forget the in between. I think. The in-between, I mean, the, the, from this means a lot, but there is a step, you know, I went, it's like a step my whole life, you know, I went, you know, up a, la you know, a ladder. And I think that's what people forget, you know, we work hard and he had his company, he was a dreamer, I had, I was, you know, at some point in my life, I was actually the breadwinner, <laughs> making a lot of money, out of modeling, trust me, you can, big commercial, big things out there, but uh, you don't just get it out of the blue. So your dreams are there, girls, keep on dreaming, but you don't necessarily have to go, you know, I never married money. Money was never handed to me. So we worked together and I saw how it come. So um, I invest back home. My charity is kind of living, you know, seeing everything in Africa. You know, Africa is me. So yes, five children. The eldest one is Samantha. And Samantha after the dad, of course. You know, not that the dad is Samantha, he's Sam. Uh, we have Lulu Marie. I did actually introduce, you know how you asked me about whether Africa is still around? I am Africa, but some of my children actually have my dad's name, like the middle of their name will be like Ikamu, which is African. So three kids do have my, you know, the, the name I grew up with. So Ikamu is still around there. And another thing though, I, yes, I live in a circle where sometimes it turns out, as it I'm the only black in a, in a whole society event, um, social event, and, um, but I don't, being the queen of ingress and my neighbors and everything is a little black girl, but I don't look at myself like that though. I'm just a human and the way I raise the children is simply they are human themselves. So there's no color, they were just all in one. You, you drop me off in India, you drop me in Japan. I think I will still be Iron Major and that's what I like about me. So it doesn't matter who you are. The, the minute we start thinking about color, we can either diminish ourselves or we can think bigger. The thing is what I always realize, the more the color we think about, the less we want to kind of blend in. And I'm not into the whole division. I don't do division at all. So all in one, that's it. And I, um, I walk tall, I walk tall and I stand strong, strong always. How should the youth in Africa behave? I mean, I think the social media and the media, the media itself does not help. I mean, or the star we're looking up to, 
um, looking up to Irene Major, do you feel like I'm not a role model? I think everybody can be a role model, it depends what you guys, you know, I are willing to say or willing to want to earn. And the foundation for me is the home, is the parent, the, your parents home, is all of that. I mean, as a parent, I try and put bond boundaries to into the children. I mean, for example, you've seen how many TV have I got around? Very few. I mean, we do have, um, uh, uh, you know, iPad and my children don't do game, you know, game videos like Nintendo, all of that. I don't put them in front of those. I think as a child, there's too much, um, there's too many challenge. I mean, if I had to tell you what I have to say to my 16 year old, for example, she's into that world where they all want to experiment everything. I mean, whether it's, I mean, not that she has boyfriend, I mean, daddy wouldn't even want to hear about this. But it's just one of those things you can, it's like a car. Life is like a car. Your life, you'll drive it. You know, it's like a car. Yes, you haven't got a license yet, but you are actually on the driving seat of your own car. You decide what friends to bring in, if they're good, to keep them, if they're bad, to throw them away. You decide who to block on your social media, you decide everything. Remember, don't be under somebody's influence. Don't behave, you know, badly because you're a friend or because you're going to look back, you know, bully is something that I don't like. For example, there's so many bullies out there as, as well. And I think the new world we're living in is not just the media, is the company, you know, your friends, you know, the people around you, but don't rush into things. I mean, I'd done my th my life started very young. I mean, I was 17 when I, I always dream. I always dream of having more and more. I mean, my dreams are not even <laughs> finished yet. I always say until I RIP, but don't rush into things so quick. And you will know who your friends are. You know, sometimes we just, some friends are good to party. Somebody actually taught me something recently. He said, I said to them, he was actually a mentor, I said, how do you see life? You know, he said, well, the best thing to take relationships in, or your friends, put them into different boxes. There's a box A, box B, box C, and box T. Let me explain to you. Box A is where you friend, put all your friends and family, people you really trust, people you can share a confidence, you know, like a secret, and then you don't want to lose it. Box B is the people who are kind of acquaintances, but C, Maybe the ones that can actually let you down, but they're still friend, friend, frenemies. And box, the other boxes are just for the losers. So be nice to them. You know, don't do enemy, try your life. But do be nice to them, but don't, just know who are the most important. I think if you stay focused, you know which box is important. You'll kind of look through that. Or that box A have more mentors, and I think and they can be your parents or an uncle that have done well. But don't rush into things at all. Company is everything, so watch who you're with and walk with. Keep dreaming. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do a trip to Cameroon and see you all, my little lovely guys, Kinaka TV. So we have some work for, um, um, you know, one of the, the brand <laughs> clinic we're opening as well is down in Ojia. You know, if you are around Yaoundé, you can see us, you know, Clinic de Cameroon, which is quite good. We had to name it, you know, under my dad's name because he meant so much to me. He said, it's kind of the pillar of the whole family. So his name meant so much, so he had to stand. And um, filming, loads of filming, you know, I need to do something for my girls. I've been approached by um, a huge a Nigerian uh, TV company, so I'm going to be doing stuff for kind of to blend it with charity works like mentoring young girls and talking about I'm not going to become the Oprah of Africa but something more and we're finding a way to to link both the fact that I'm in the UK and but the most all the show the more the whole show will kind of be filmed in um, down to Cameroon and Nigeria as well so it just is called it's gonna be quite major I'm really really looking forward to it so then you can see me I can see you my loves down there in Cameroon just for you can I get TV happy day be coming soon. Love you guys so, so much.